That's because Nikita Kucherov has a three-point game going. And he's now up to 32 points, one ahead of Quinn Hughes, who has three periods of hockey ahead of him. James Schwartz tried to throw it across. Now Pedersen able to force the puck out to center. And Adam Larson gets there ahead of Ilya McKayev. Vince Duck, Alex Wendenberg reclaims the puck at center. That's broken up. Here's Bolivia. Through on the left wing, cutting it on goal. Check from behind by Will Borgen. Now he centers and decor. A sharp stop there off Brock Besser. After Bavillier didn't get the chance he wanted, but sent one up for Besser. Gets to the line, not out, kept in by Hughes. Now Besser onto the puck. Brock Besser attacking from the side, sends one across. Harunik missed the net, now the puck loses in front. As Besser put it to the crease, and Bavillier couldn't get his stick on it. Juleson runs a little interference for him to get in the way of Ty Karchin. Hoaglander, nice move at center, ahead to DiGiuseppe, who backhands the puck behind the Seattle door. Onto it is Oma. Feeds Hoaglander, quick shot in tight, couldn't get it to go. Sends it to the corner, goes after it himself, had his stick lift, big good job by Hronik, but then Myers was checked before he could make a play to get the puck out. And Seattle gets it back, now intercepting though is Oman, and he'll send it all the way down the ice. It probably feels pretty good for Oman, he had a, a nice first shift, he set up Hoaglander, now he gets a clear, you can get your feet back underneath, even though you played 65 times last year, feels good to get those first couple shifts in. Here's Alex Wendberg. Pass was behind Jared McCann. Here's a lead pass, Dakota Joshua on a breakaway, short hand, it's stopped by the right pad of Dakota. And another good play at the blue line, this by Peronic. And now a steal by Bluger. He's in shorthanded. Teddy Bluger deep, he scores. 100th career point for Teddy Bluger. His first goal as a Canuck comes shorthanded, and it's 1 0. You see, Teddy Bluger's going to score today. It really bothers me to give you this. <laughs> Two breakaways shorthanded. Joshua beat by the court. Bluger is going to freeze him right here with the fake forehand shot. And Bluger goes around him. His first is a Vancouver Canuck. Another one of these bottom six forwards that has been piling up the chances. With Adam Larson with the Canucks back to full strength. Sends the puck down the near side. Thrown in front and tip wide. Ty Karche had that chance. He's in over the back of the line. Schwartz takes his pass, dishes back. Now on the near side, Tolvin it to Dunn. Tried a long shot. Canucks, Oman was right on top of him and was able to get his stick on that bit. Now Hironik delays in the corner. Tried to make a play up to Bluger, but that's intercepted. Schwartz feeds back. Dunn, other side. Beneers shoots. He scores. <laughs> You heard that one go posting in. Maddie Veneers on the power play, and the game's tied at one. And he's going to score in the power play. Watch Bluger and Oman. They're going to pause for just a moment here. A little miscommunication, and now Oman doesn't quite get across. But so as he gets it, doesn't get across. That doesn't allow Myers to attack the shooter quite so quickly. A little bit of a communication. After coaches' challenge video review, it was determined that at 13.20, the play was offside, no goal. Checked by Karchik, but Besser's able to clear the puck out. Veneers has it in his own blue line. Bluger got his stick on that pass. Besser shoots off the shoulder of Decor. Bluger checks him, chips the puck ahead. Canucks have a two on one. Make it a three on two, but then Borgen got back to check Garland and took him down. The large contingent of Vancouver fans here hollering for a penalty on that play, but they're not gonna get it. Juleson takes a hit, loses the puck, it's centered, oh, what a save by Demko off Tolvanen. Jaden Schwartz up for Tolvanen, took the pass off his skate, dishes into the corner, now the puck thrown back, Tolvanen to the blue line, done. Veneers again, down low, puck centered, and Yamamoto couldn't put it home. Of the net. He's got a couple of power play goals this year. Jaden Schwartz has done this forever. In by the goal line, he's got his way back towards the blue line, gets it to Dunn, near side, here's Schwartz, he shoots, Demko the save. An all-important whistle there. Canucks needed a change, and Demko's able to squeeze that puck. About being more aggressive, you could see it in the way Tockett spoke to Bluger and Allman when they came off the ice on the goal that was disallowed on the entry. But they want to be aggressive, they want to push the play, and now they'd like to play at five on five. Battle for the puck in the near corner. Comes free now to Ian Cole. Threw it up the middle, Bjorkstrand shoots, Demko the save. Now Cole thinks he's got support up the middle of the ice, he's got Oliver Bjorkstrand. Seattle, 
McCann across, and a shot by Schultz off the shoulder of Thatcher Demko. As the trailer was set up, now Demko two saves in tight, and he'll reverse for Noah Juleson. Ahead to JT Miller. Through center and over the Seattle blue line. Besser takes the drop pass, put it in front. Miller was stopped. He takes the puck behind the goal. It's poked free onto the stick of Noah Juleson. Across, Cole, slap pass. Garland gets the puck, gets it again. Shoots, kicked out. Joshua scores. Dakota Joshua on the rebound. He's on the board, and it's 2 0 Vancouver. One goal in his last 18 games. He's the only Vancouver Canuck in the offensive zone when this play starts. You mentioned Shorty's at the end of his shift. Everybody else has changed, but because they get control through his work, he stays in front of the net. Garland has a couple of whacks at it. He doesn't really get much on it, but he stays with it. And Joshua punches the rebound in. And after a terrific bit of work, Passed it right to Brock Besser, who flips it ahead. Here's McKayev giving chase. Ilya McKayev in on goal, and he couldn't put it home after the court. Ilya McKayev a chance to make it 3 0 Vancouver, and puck just knocked away from him. As the puck just didn't land quite perfectly for him to let go of that one timer. Now Larson with a shot off the glove of Demko. McKayev gets to the puck in the corner, ahead for Patterson. He missed it, held in by Seattle. Carche scores! Canucks failed to get it out. Ty Karchi able to risk one home and get Seattle on the board. Down at the offensive zone, Lafferty tries a cross seam pass when maybe you just shoot, shovel it to the net. Here's a misplay as Mikheyev hands this, trying to break out to Pedersen. They mishandle it right here. And last year's American League Rookie of the Year, Ty. Corona on defense. Hughes and JT Miller have been held pointless to this point in the game and both riding nine game point streaks. As we get underway here in the third, Elias Pedersen drawing the puck back. Pedersen wins another one. Hughes, nice pass across. Horonic loads up, he shoots, he scores! Philip Horonic blasted past Joey Decor. Mikheyev Played the role of dummy at the blue line, let the pass go through to Horonic, who was wide open. It makes it three to one. Cole took those two slap shots about 70 miles an hour that the court stopped both. So they change Cole and Juleson off the blue line, and it becomes Hughes and Horonic. Horonic loads up a 90 mile an hour blast. It's a 10 game point streak for Quinn Hughes. Three straight face off wins by Elias Pedersen in the offensive zone leads to that. Gord moves in on the right wing. Backhands the puck around to the far side. Hoaglander took the stick to allow Oman to get the puck. Backhands it ahead. It's past the man at the point, and here comes Vancouver. Hoaglander in towards the goal. He shoots. He scores. The point streak continues for Nils Hoaglander, who buries that one and makes it four to one. Oman, Oman gets it to the blue line, and it bounces funny. So Tolvin and tries to punt it. He misses it. And Hoaglander skates right on top of it. He's looking at Garland, and then he readjusts, and he fires it by Joey Decord on the glove side for Hoaglander. Goals in four of his last five, seven on the year. Garland. Now Bluger centers, and McCann couldn't get it on goal. Penalty's over. Here's a centering pass. McCann scores. Then he got dumped after he put the puck in. But Ilya Mikheyev set up for a tap-in from Connor Garland, and the Canucks lead 5-1. to one. The Penalty box. This pass misses initially as Dumoulin deflects it. It goes right to Garland, and there's Mikheyev. Stick on the ice. Thank you very much. And he's able to jam that into the net. His seventh of the year, and the Canucks have a five spot. They latch on. Right hands for both. And linesmen say that's enough. As the final seconds will come off the clock in this one. And the Canucks pick up win number 14 on the season. Thatcher Demko, a huge reason for that. He was great in the first period. Dakota Joshua gets what proves to be the winning goal for Vancouver.